What's up guys, welcome back to Gentry and Sons and welcome back to another video. So right off the rip, I wanna apologize. I'm sorry I've not been able to get a video up in the last few days. Guys, we have been slammed. We have been super, super busy. We're trying to get our shop built. We're trying to get the house sold. So before the economy takes, even it gets even worse, we're hoping we can sell our house right now while we can still get a good price out of it and pay cash for our next home. So that is our goal. Um, so I've been working on the garage, trying to get it all fixed up. My wife's been working on the inside of the house. We've actually got two people already scheduled to come look at it this week. So our plan is sell the big house, move back into a double wide. We're happy in a double wide. We don't need this big place. And for what we can get out of it, we should be able to just pay cash for our next home and not have to worry about if the economy fails, not have to worry about if trucking fails because let's just, I mean, let's be honest, it's getting scary. It really is. Freight has just plummeted. Um, I'm getting 15 calls a day from owner operators or company drivers that are looking for a job or looking for a place to put their truck on. And it's everywhere. I'm talking everywhere for out west, up north, um, here in the south. I mean, everybody is struggling right now. Everybody's having a hard time. I mean, we're staying pretty decently busy, but it ain't nothing like it was. And, you know, at first I thought things were just getting back to normal. But guys, it is really, really, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. Everybody's struggling right now. And so... I talked about, I don't know, probably six months ago, seven months ago, I bought a cattle trailer just for this day because there's certain things that ain't going to stop moving. Everybody's got to eat. Um, yeah, the rates are way down from where they were when I bought this trailer, but it is still work. So food's going to continue to move. Um, right now, we're still moving some boats. We'll probably get into some oversized, um, big personal boats. Because one, the people that the economy don't really affect is rich people. And rich people want their boats moved, they want them moved. They're still going to go to the Bahamas. They're still going to go to Florida. They're still going to go back up north when the weather's warm. So people that's got money, they're going to keep moving around. But us poor folk, you know, we've got to do what we got to do to survive. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am doing whatever it takes to make a dollar to keep money coming in keep my family fed to keep my crew something to do like we're going to do whatever it takes so we're going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff for the next however long it takes until things come back around uh whatever it takes to make money i don't care what it is what kind of trailers we got to pull what kind of freight it is if it makes us money we're going to do it we're going to continue to do our boats we're going to continue like i said we're going to do whatever it takes to make a good living and try to survive in this trucking industry like it is. And hopefully um, I can give you guys pointers and tips, what works for me, what don't work for me. And I mean, I can offer that. I've got a lot of people asking me for a job right now and it's hard for me to say no. But guys, right now, I just cannot take anybody else on. I can't, I just, I can't do that to the people that already work for me that's been there with me for years and years and years those guys have to come first and a lot of them are my family so i hope everybody understands i've had a lot of people get mad at me because i can't hire them and just oh you're just a you you're not like you're supposed to be blah 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 blah. i thought you were a lot nicer than this and i thought you were four other four owner operators and it's not that it really isn't it's just the fact i just can't take anybody else on right now guys we're all struggling we're all going to have to stick together and work our butts off and get down in the ditch and dig and dig and dig until the economy comes back around. That's all there is to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go hook up the cattle wagon. We're going to go haul some cows. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. So let's go. Oh, Petey. Are you ready to go to work? Oh, you are. Are you ready to start up? Let's see if you're gonna start. My gosh, you're ready. 
my god, look at this and at her, boys. Listen at her. I was going to take the Columbia. They just finished that thing up today. I don't know if it's 100% ready to go. So I think we'll take the 388. Why do I hear air leaking? Oh, it's the air level valve. Come on, level up, baby. Level up. Oh, it might be flipped. Because I had it hooked to a trailer. Oh! Come on, Barlin. Let's go to work. Half a tank of fuel. We should be good to go over and back. Well, guys, she looks pretty good all stickered up. Woohoo! Man, that's awesome. All right, we're gonna go hook her to the cow wagon, see what she'll do. All right, guys, we're rolling out. I got Jason with me. So, Jason, this is his first load of cows. My first. But he has been driving with us for like eight, nine years now. Yeah, about that. Yeah. At least eight years. This I'm thing's sorry. fancy. I like the this. This thing is fancy. This is nice. We got the meat wagon hooked up. She's ready to rumble, baby. Eager. All right, I got air going to it. Let me flip the lights on. I just had those lights on. Just had them on. There they go. Always got lights. I'm gonna double check everything, make sure it is good to go. No flat tires. Oh yeah, my paddle. She's cleaned out. All my lights are working. Oh baby, we're ready to ride. We are ready to ride. We are ready. I love these lights back here. They really help. on and they're ready to start chipping looks like have you been around that building dude that thing's got dock doors from the front to this to the side of the interstate's at and the back side oh all around it yeah all the way all right we're getting on the highway baby with the old moo trailer the old meat wagon got her rocking and rolling tonight baby I ain't got to really haul a lot with it since uh, we got the new plate in it. One thing about all these moo cows, you gotta go through these little towns. It says no trucks. I love how the RPM thing's up there. Way. Maybe we should have went the other way. No, we're good. Oh boy. We got this. Oh yeah, we'll make her happen. Just about the way it was when I went over there delivering that boat in North Carolina. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's some big 
bad hills over through there. Curves. I lost my brakes one time in that Volvo. Me and Dad used to ride over through here on these hills. Coming from Benton. My first load ever done by myself. I hit a hill too hard. Scared the crap out of me. We're gonna get to climb this bad boy coming back. Heck yeah, that's gonna be awesome. We'll know what this truck's made of by the time we get back to the Oh yeah, definitely. Sweetwater. Oh, it's a sail barn. It looks like. Lick, skillet. Is that what it says? Wanna stop? You got painter bills sitting everywhere over here. Pretty load of hosting. Yep, 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 yep. Come on now. Good kitty kitty cows. Next set. I gotta get this thing polished. Oh, no parking here. All right, good job. Yeah, you want to go out there and get ready to close that door? Yeah. When they yeah. come in? Go ahead and get it unwrapped and everything. Just hold it. And when I tell you to, let her go. Don't let it slam too hard, but you know, let it come down. Come on. Load up. Come on. Yep, yep. Come on. Let's be easy. Come on now. Let's be easy. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all get in there. There's plenty of room. Come on. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Come on. Come on, make room. Everybody's got room. We're gonna go get a milkshake. Come on, come on. There you go. Good. Down. Down. There you go. That's it, baby. Guys, we're all loaded up. Man, look at that 379 sitting over there. Whew. Now we got some hill climbing to do. Let's see if this old girl gets back to the house. Ways well, loaded. Mm -hmm. Oh, these suckers ain't gonna ride good. I can already feel it. Yeah. got a nice little auction set up up here. He got all kinds of different tractors, trucks, equipment. Yeah, it's a nice little place here. I wouldn't mind running this load every week.
load. I like them when they just roll up in there like that. The last load I loaded was crazy. They was crazy. Yeah, we must. 
gonna snow the truck. <laughs> See ya, buddy. He worked around awful fast to get around through there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. We'll be on Instagram, baby. Guys, if you do get videos of us out here on the road, don't yeah, definitely tag me on Instagram. Send me a video of it or Facebook. I love sharing that stuff. Single axle Peterbilt. 
flat. Oh my goodness, that's a good looking ride. Holy crap. Gotta check that thing out. Dang, one and done, baby. One and done. I like it. All right, let's get them off. That's all out of the bottom. Oh yeah.
24 in the belly, 21 up top, six in the back, and I think we got seven in the front. Oh, it's gonna be nice and stinky now. Yep. We got an empty wagon. Well, that's not nice saying a big full barn to be using an overflow barn. Oh, look at the babies. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. He looks interesting. I'm getting ready to eat mine. Yeah, that's what I heard. Holy crap, look at this guy. Hell is duo. What the hell is him? Dude, those are some freaking awesome looking cows. You need some of them. That one like I don't care. Dude, I want them to. Y'all want to come to my house? Dude, that is the coolest looking set of horns I've ever seen. Are they long? Are they long horns? Watusis. What are they called? Watusis. Watuskins. Watusis. Watusis. Yeah. Yeah. They get bigger than that, don't they? They get longer and they go bigger than deep. They're probably long more than what this is Dang, I wonder what they go for. Pretty high dollar. Let me talk to you. Is that like this sale here? Is going to keep them? Uh, I think that's my answer. Oh. I don't know. They may be for sale. I don't know. They didn't have a thing on it. Uh, well, that sucks. Staying overnight? No. <laughs> Head back to the house. Oh. I might get yelled at it for this, but I'm gonna bring get mama. I'm bringing mama cow down here and let her feed these babies. Come on, Mama, bring up some milk. Back up. There you go, babies. Go drink you some milk. Maybe. Well, he wouldn't eat off the Mama cow, but he has drunk a little bit of water. I think he's going, I don't know if he's going to make it, he's sick. These two nibble on the hay, they would not eat, they wouldn't even think about eating off that mama cow. You want some hay? Come on. I'm trying to help you guys. You ain't going to help yourself. I think they're probably bottle fed. Y'all bottle fed babies or something? I don't know. But I know one thing I'm ready to get to the house. I just want to see that one back there. 
drink or eat. He drank a little bit of water, that's all he'd do. He wouldn't eat off that cow. I think there's a, uh, one of the mini cows in here. I still can't believe these up here. These are the coolest looking cows ever. Man, them things look awesome. I'm gonna find out if they're for sale. I don't need them, but I want them. <laughs> well, brother, I'll see you after the sale. I'm gonna go get some sleep. I'd say tomorrow night's gonna be a long one. I gotta get me a boot thing on this truck. We're gonna pull cows with it. I think that's what this thing's gonna do. Hey, we didn't have any down. That's a good thing. I was really worried about it after having to stop like that. Me and you both. Sleep and do it again tomorrow night. I should have had you meet me over here when we left the truck trailer here. Yeah, we could have. Dude, that little Peterbilt right there is awesome. That's like the perfect setup. Baby. We made it, bro. We're back. Can you believe it? I can believe it. Well, what's your honest opinion about the 389? Or I like 388? It. I like this truck. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Yes, it is very sweet. I think it's the perfect cow hauler, don't you? I believe it is. I believe it would be perfect to haul cattle with. Especially by the way it pulls and the way it runs. Yeah, it does pretty good. Plus, pulling cows, you ain't gonna put e logs in it. That's what I'm actually. Yeah. You know, the only thing that kills us, you know, we're not a big e log company, so. This truck wants to go. It don't wanna be sitting around waiting on a computer to tell it what it can do. Yeah, precisely. She is home, guys. Round trip done. Done, done, done. Till tonight, we've got. I'm sure we're gonna have some cows to haul. But I think if we get it serviced today, it does. it's ready for a service. And uh, I really wanna change that front bumper, but right now it's a work truck. That's all I need it to do is doing what it needs to do. This is the reason why I traded for it. So it can do things like this. And I feel confident I could jump in it tomorrow and go right back to work. So, uh, super happy with the truck. There's a few things I want to change and fix on it. 
I want to get this fixed where it's the right length and all that. I ain't got to worry about it getting down on the dry shaft. It's about ready for some rubber. It's good for now, but it won't be long. We'll put some on it. And the trailer did awesome. Fifth wheel did good. Lights worked like they're supposed to. And she's 100% DOT legal. I have no doubt I could pull into a scale with this rig and pass a DOT inspection. That's another thing that I'm after. I'm gonna go home, get a couple hours sleep. I gotta be back here at 7.30 in the morning. We got a lot to do today. And this was a unexpected trip. I guess the YouTube gods blessed us and the, um, it's nice to have some extra work. Guys, I love y'all. I'm headed to the house and I'll see you on the next video.